In this morning's Business Insight, every week on this program, we seem to talk about new restaurants. Well, a local social service agency is hoping to make sure we have enough chefs to make all the good food those restaurants are serving. Cincinnati Cooks is part of the Free Store Food Bank. It's a free 10-week course in which students learn the mechanics of a commercial kitchen. Members of the 175th class will graduate in November. Kurt Reiber, president and CEO of the Free Store Food Bank, joins business courier editor Rob Dahmeyer in the studio to talk about Cincinnati Cooks. Gentlemen. Peg, thank you. Kurt, thanks so much for being here. Rob, it's great to be with you. So when we write stories, and we write a lot of them these days, about how tight the labor market is, there are really three areas that we focus on. IT, construction, but most of all, restaurants. Uh, it is a tight, tight labor market. Um, is it always been that way, or is this, is this a new phenomenon? Well, with all the restaurants that have been opening up in the banks and, and over the Rhine, and just the trendy restaurants that are happening out there, uh, there's always been a demand for good chefs, and the Cincinnati Cooks program has been supplying those chefs for the past 18 years. So what happens actually specifically in this class? You go through it for 10 weeks. Where do you start and where do you end? Well, you start with the basic sauces and things like that. You work with knife skills, uh, but also it's working on the just getting along with people, working as a team. When you think about in the kitchen, there's a lot of tension, a lot of activity that goes on. So we help with our life skills. We also help with uh, interview techniques, resume building, but also all the basic skills that you can learn in the kitchen that will be make you a, a great sous chef and a, a great uh, employee for any of the restaurants here in town. How old are, is the typical student, by the way, um, that you get in here? Is there are well, they we, all over the place? We've or? had them from 18 up to 68. Really? And everywhere in between. Uh, the challenge that we have is many of our students have past criminal records and the culinary is an area where they can get in the, in the job and really shine for themselves. So it's really been a plus for us. So the average uh, age is probably in the mid 40s. So these are individuals that have been underemployed or unemployed and are trying to get back into the workforce and the Cooks program allows them to do that in, in a great fashion. So where can they get jobs when they're done with the class? They graduate. Today we saw the picture of Mayor Cranley uh, celebrating with them. Where do they go from there? Well, where they go from there is basically every restaurant we've had. Uh, and our students come out with a serve safe certification, which is required in any restaurant or food service ca uh, capacity. So being able to have that certification is really a critical need in our community. But they get jobs with uh, uh, the restaurants down in the banks. They get restaurants uh, over in northern Kentucky. Uh, we have uh, many of the uh, facilities like uh, UC Health. Right. Um, you know, Mercy Health, uh, Tri Health, big cafeterias, higher, big yeah. cafeterias, big social service settings. Uh, we've had some folks hired by Talbert House for some of their halfway homes. It's a great, uh, basically, these students are getting a, a great education. And the beauty part about it, too, is if they go through our 10 week training program and our eight week training program, they're able to get 30 credit hours of advanced placement in kitchen management from Cincinnati State. So it's a win win situation for everybody. So, last question for you. Um, when when they when people enter this program, how much time are you spending on, like you said, resume building and just employability, and then how much are you sp how much time is spent on learning, like you said, knife skills, sauces, well, it, it's, it's an eight-hour day, five days a week wow. for all of our students. So they come in and they have different stations they're involved with. They will work in our buffet line. They will work with our catering team. They'll work with our bakery area. They'll work with our kitchen prep area, and they'll work in the cleaning station because everybody knows that a clean kitchen is a good kitchen. Right. Uh, then they also spend some time in the classroom. So all of those combinations allow them to round out their entire education process and really makes them prepared to hit the line and you know, begin preparing your meal right. for the next day. Well, hey, Kurt, thank you so much for being here. 175 classes, it's a big deal, and good luck and keep going forward. Thank you so much. We're glad to have it. Thanks.